Oh, jeez. It'll buff out, it'll buff out. Huh? Like new. It'll buff out. Welcome back to Deeper View TV viewers. Chris Nichols here with a fun short video today all about demystifying the process of cleaning the optics of your lenses. What's safe to use, what isn't safe to use, what might happen, what you should do. I mean, hopefully you'll find this entertaining but also educational. And there's three things that I wanna state first. Now, number one, Chris, what's all that black crap on your fingers? It's landscaping foam. Gloves, who needs them? Number two, all the lenses that we're experimenting with today, they're all broken lenses. They're non-functioning items that we can play with. No kid's gonna wanna have this donated and start their photographic career with it, okay? So it's all broken lenses. And number three, of course, this is by no means laboratory test. We're just having fun here. You know, it's not scientific. A lot of these lenses are different brands. They're different eras, different ages, and the techniques and the ruggedness of the coatings is gonna change over the, over the years. But, you know, I think it's gonna help us to have a little bit of fun, satisfy some curiosities of my own about what will damage my lenses and what we could probably get away with. And hopefully you guys will have some fun and learn something too. Okay, so first off, what should we be wiping our lenses with? Well, anything that's wood pulp based like paper towel or Kleenex is a bad idea. It's abrasive and they leave junk all over the front of your lenses. I think everybody knows the de facto choice is a microfiber cloth like you would use for eyeglasses, for example. And the way I would divide it is into two basic textures. Some are gonna have this very tight weave and they're gonna feel very silky. And I like these that they stand up well to abuse. You can wash them, they don't fall apart. But I do find that they don't often absorb liquids very well. So even lens sprays on there, they don't seem to absorb well. If you're trying to get water droplets off the front of your lens, they tend to smear them as opposed to absorb them. I really like a microfiber cloth that's got more of a cottony, soft, towel-like finish. This is the best by far. And look, it's a Pentax. We used to be Pentax, a Rico product. These are fantastic. They've got this nice texture. They absorb really well, and they do a great job of cleaning materials. They just seem to have almost a little bit more tooth to get rid of stuff on your lens. However, I will say that after you've washed them or used them for a while, they do tend to fall apart and leave lint. Now you never want to wipe a dry lens cloth on a lens, so we need some sort of cleaning liquid. Now the first thing a lot of people use is their own breath with the classic t-shirt. Now I honestly have no problem with t-shirts per se, it's not really going to damage your lens, but there's a lot of talk about what your breath is going to do to it. Now first off, some people say it's slightly acidic, it's going to etch the glass. Other people actually say it leaves basic deposits behind. Regardless, my main problem with breath is that it's water-based and yeah, it'll get water droplets off the front of your lens, but what if you've got fingerprints or oil on there? Well, it's not going to do anything except smear that all over the front of the lens. What you want is a good optical lens cleaner and the majority of these are going to be basically isopropyl alcohol, uh, you know, basically to help uh, evaporation, a mild soap to cut the grease, and mostly water. And uh, those work well. Whatever you use for your sunglasses will be fine. Whatever you use that you can buy at a camera store will also be safe. You could even use just isopropyl alcohol. Now these cleaners will all do a great job of getting rid of fingerprints, oil, water, anything like that on the front of your lens. And one thing I do want to say is always make sure that you spray onto the cloth, never directly onto the lens because a lot of them aren't water sealed and you don't want that all over there. Another product that I really love though myself is something like this. This is a moistened towelette that's full of optical cleaner. What I like about them is they're totally sealed. They're easy to travel with. You don't have to worry about putting anything like this on an airplane or anything. I really do love these. Now, the last product that I want to talk about is a bit unique. Uh, where all the other cleaners do a great job of cutting grease and such, there is a product called ROR, Residual Oil Remover, and it's a really fantastic product. It'll actually remove a lot of the stuff that's deep down in the lens that regular cleaners won't touch. Now, one more thing that I think is important to talk about with ROR, this is my Nikkor 85 millimeter F2 AIS. I love this lens, and I used the early batch of ROR on it, and it did actually strip the coatings. And so I only point this out to let you know that the new batches are completely safe. They're very good on your lenses and I'd have no problems or qualms about buying it and using that now. Now this is vodka, which is basically ethanol and water. And in honest truth, you do not use this on your lenses, but if you find that you've irreparably damaged a lens for no good reason, this is how you use this. Don't go crazy with it though, don't overdo it.
Now, before we go any further, I do want to say that the glass and the coatings in your lenses are actually quite rugged and quite hard. And this is a nail here they're going to rub on this lens. A nail is pretty soft metal, but without putting too much pressure, I'm sure it's doing damage, but really, it's basically imperceptible. This is chrome vanadium screwdriver, a little bit harder metal. And again, I can rub this on here. And again, it's surprising how little damage actually happens. I can only see minor scratches. And now finally, I'm gonna use a hardened steel file here. And that's certainly, you can hear it, it digs in and it makes big scratches. But, you know, really I was quite surprised to see how much pressure I have to put on this with metal objects before I can actually damage them. So really lenses are quite rugged. And it's not so much that I'm worried about nails and files and screwdrivers hitting the front of my lens on a regular basis. But what about just cleaning my lenses over time? How much damage is that gonna do? Now over time, things like sand and dust can be very abrasive to the front of your lenses. And when you amortize that over years of rubbing it with microfiber claws, uh, you can actually end up doing some damage. And sand is actually the first thing I wanna talk about because it can do damage actually in a very short time. This happens a lot. You go to the beach and you shoot, maybe your lens goes into the sand or your microfiber cloth goes into the sand. It finds its way everywhere. And if you rub it on the front of your lenses, it's not good for them, okay? I mean, here I am rubbing here. This is one session. There we go, and let's look at that. It does do a little bit of damage. I can see some small scratches now, so be very careful with this kind of thing. You should always use, with sand or dust, a blower bulb or a soft brush. Get that dust and sand off of the front of the lens before you even think of rubbing it with a cloth. So for this next test, I wanna see what happens with dust over a long period of time. And I'm gonna be using a Canon 1855 kit lens, probably the most common kit lens in the world. And uh, of course, I can't wipe this thing for years <laughs> in front of the camera, but I have this new product that we've been working on. I wanna show it to you guys for this next test. It's gonna be great. And uh, this is one of the advantages of subscribing to our channel. You get to see this early stuff. Is the constant wiping of lenses wearing your body out and taking up all your time? I can't, I'm sorry, I gotta clean this. Are you tired of the constant awkward struggle to wipe the front of your lens? Don't you wish there was a better way? Well, we found the solution. Introducing the Chris Nichols Signature Easy Miracle Buff Magic Lens Grinder. There's simply a better way to wipe. Get one now and start finally living. Okay, so first off, clearly the Miracle Buff Easy Shine, I don't know, you guys name it, leave comments below, uh, is a prototype, it's not working perfectly. Uh, this gouge in the front, that is admittedly where the bit hit the front of the glass. However, you know, we only did about seven seconds. I'm gonna estimate, uh, in my expert opinion, that that's about seven years of normal wiping with a microfiber cloth, and you can see lots of abrasion on the front of that coating. I mean, you know, this stuff builds up microscopically over time, but given enough time, it can absolutely make an impact. So make sure you get dust and debris off of the glass before you wipe it with a cloth. Uh, you know, over time, it is gonna damage things. All right, I hope you guys found that both entertaining and educational. The main takeaways are this. First off, use a proper lens cleaner. Don't use your breath. You need something that's gonna cut that oil and grease. As well, make sure that the claws you're using are clean. That's key. It's the abrasives that really do damage to your lenses. And that's again why those pre-moistened wipes might be a fantastic way to go. The other thing I would say is make sure that you do blow off dust and sand before you start wiping. That is very, very important. And in the end, maybe a UV filter is a really good idea and a good investment for you to protect your lenses. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave comments below on what we should name our special device as well as uh, what other things you'd like to see us do to lenses. You know, maybe other experiments that we can try on them. That would be great to get us feedback. Check out our Instagram and our Twitter feeds. Go to deepreview.com and check that out as well. Thanks so much for joining us and we will see you very soon. Oh, lens tissues. Yeah, like, I had a customer who did like specialized macro adult films and he liked them because they were disposable, but uh, he was the only one who bought them and that kind of put me off lens tissues for the rest of my life, so. Yeah.